luck, right? It's the you candle. You said third. that it, it, because God, we were young. Don't and we even started. go there. But it's it's very interesting because yeah. they've cast us the ages we are, and there is still the possibility of children. There is still the possibility of relationships. And that creates great conflict and, and you know, great tension, and it's great for the storylines. Um, when, when Julia was um, suggested, I, you know, I knew Julia's work, and I couldn't see how Julia would be Dorcas, but the, the moment I saw her audition, I knew she was, she was by far and away the best Dorcas, and by far and away the most appropriate Dorcas as well. And uh, she's absolutely wonderful and gets more and more... The more I see her do it, the more I, you know, more I see Dorcas. It's wonderful. Miss Lane, can you tell us, after a man has waited all his life for the right to vote, why should he give it to a woman? <laughs> because I'm sure your superior male intelligence will make clear to you that you must vote on policies alone. My father used to own post office and forge, um, and he trained me up for a few days when he was ill. Um, and then my father passed away, and so I naturally inherited the post office and the forge. Which is quite something in those times, really, for a woman to take that on. That's why I love Dorcas, because she's very independent. James Dowland, lately of London, now of Candleford. She still has hold of his hand. <laughs> I hope you have noticed me now. I have. I, I mean, welcome to Candleford, Mr. Dowland. She's very much Candleford. Yeah, she was brought up in Candleford. Um, but she has a love of people, so there is, um, she, you know, there's no status with her. And, you know, one person isn't any better than the other. It doesn't matter where you've come from. Um, we're all divine beings of love and light. That's a little bit of me saying that. <laughs> I'm awake. Are you awake? I think because of her age, you know, there are all kinds of interesting issues to explore. You know, having a child. You know, the thought of a life without a partner. All these are, this is a crucial time in a man or a woman's life, but in Dorcas' game, a woman's life. Um, and so everything is heightened by the time, this time of her life. And so, you know, there are stories across the series which um, bring that home for Dorcas. So there's one episode, for instance, in which she has the care of a baby for a few days, and it just, all of her feelings come to the surface about Am I, will I have a child? And so she's conflicted about the life she's chosen, which is a life of career, you know, her role in the community, uh, and independence, you know. Um, and yet, here are all these very natural feelings. Yeah, her one weaknesses um, are all about her never being satisfied. So she, you know, if it's food or soft pillows or hot baths or beautiful boots or, you know, it, it, it's, all, it's all to deflect from really her inner pain. You know, I love the fact that she loves her luxuries. She loves, you know, she loves indulgences and what have you, but, and she's aware of her own flaws and she's aware of her own mistakes and failings. Um, but her spirit is wonderful and she's great to write because, you know, she's, um, she constantly wants the best in humanity. She will solve everyone's problems, try and help everyone, and is a very, very caring character. Um, she's also, if you like, the mother in that post office, the mother of the family in the post office, because the post office is very much a family, um, particularly with the new character, uh, Minnie, coming in, who, uh, in theory, is only 17 years old and you know without family as we as we will learn and Julia Dorcas has very much become her mother. So one of the things we've done in the second series is to bring in another girl who's younger than Laura so suddenly Laura's the older sister so she's got quite a different role in the second series she's not just the young naive girl who's a fish out of water and having new experiences she's now 
got responsibilities? Well, my character is only one line in the book. But I've read the book, <laughs> but um, she's, yeah, she's, it's mainly the name they've taken. She's not even a maid. <laughs> I wonder who it belonged to. No, no, M Minnie, I don't think you should. I shall find me a boy who wants to marry me. And that will be the gladdest day of my life. Because then I shall belong. <laughs> we all belong, Minnie. <laughs> no, not me. People get tired of Minnie. Miss Lane will become tired of me and then she will turn me out, send me back. Well, she's got this past, which she sort of find out about throughout the series, um, and Dorcas knows about it and knows that if she doesn't help her, something bad, yeah, she might go into a bad route, so she takes her on, even though she's rubbish, rubbish maid. <laughs> we left Laura at the end of series one. Obviously, Zilla had died and... She was pretty distraught, not pretty, very distraught. Um, so it's about seven months later and there's a new maid in the post office called Minnie, who she gets a lot of things wrong in the first few weeks. So I think Laura, she's immediately taking on the more responsible role and she likes, you know, showing, she, cause she, now Minnie's the new girl. She kind of can see herself in Minnie. She didn't, she, you know, when she arrived in Lark Row, she was petrified, Minnie's petrified. I think Minnie is doing rather well considering. Yes, ma'am. By which you mean no, ma'am. I only wonder, Miss Lane. Well, since you could have had the choice of any maid, I could have had the pick of any post girl, couldn't I? She only needs time, Laura. And we all need that to begin with, don't we? Yes. We do. I'm sorry. She's definitely very intelligent and um, she loves what she does and she, she looks to Dorcas as someone that she's, she kind of, she wants to become her in a way and she, she really listens to everything that she tells her and um, she just wants to do her best. She's a bit of a perfectionist, I think, and she wants to succeed in life and she relishes being given responsibility. And often, you know, if things don't go to plan, she... She, she's full of self-doubt and she's constantly trying to improve everything, which sometimes can be a bit stressful for her. One of the things from the first series 